Slum 1200 GGI Mob and I'm back. Slum 1200 GGI Mob and I'm back. Slum 1200 GGI Mob and I'm back. I'm back, back. Streets, I am the struggle. Yeah, I'm the struggle. I bleed the streets, I am the struggle. Yeah, I'm the streets. I bleed the streets, I am the struggle. Play the cuts like peroxide, wait in the bubble. Still trapping with this rapping, yeah, I'm going, going in. in. Trying to murder everything, even the pad and pen. Pain. No witnesses, no survivors. Red cross, Red cross. Glock fire, hot lava, head lost. <laughs> comes Latasha Harlins coming to the counter with what she was going to buy in one hand money in the other altercation walks away is shot in the back of the head Latasha Harlan is really hit home because my daughter was the same age as Latasha Harlan. Rodney King didn't touch me as much as Latasha Harlan because this girl was killed. She was a little teenage girl behind some orange juice. Mm -mm. That, that could have been my child. Up until Saturday morning, Son Jadu was a Korean grocer in Los Angeles. Now she's an alleged criminal facing a first-degree murder charge. Well, at this time, she's looking at a maximum of 30 years to life. According to witnesses and a security camera videotape, Harlan's never tried to steal the juice. Instead, investigators say Du angrily confronted the girl and then shot her with a 38 caliber handgun. I hope and I know that Justice will serve herself and she will get what she deserved. Soon God do had no respect for that young woman. The way they beat Rodney King, okay? Her shooting Latasha Harlan, it's the same people, okay, that are being victimized. The recommendation of the people was maximum state prison. I think that the death of Latasha deserved that. The court decided otherwise. Mrs. Dew is placed on formal probation for five years on the following terms and conditions. Mrs. Dew is to perform 400 hours of community service. It sends a bad message to the community that a human life is not valued. Strange, very strange. Maybe that's our system, I don't know. It's all corrupted. The judicial system is so corrupted. Most people say unreal in comparison to Latasha Harlins. We say, unfortunately, very real for African Americans. Even so, Judge Joyce Carlin's sentence in the Latasha Harlins case is being praised as courageous by the Criminal Courts Bar Association. At a news conference, defense attorneys criticized D.A. Ira Reiner for ordering his staff not to allow Judge Carlin to handle criminal cases. He has abused his power as district attorney to, in effect, bully and attempt to intimidate every sitting judge who doesn't kowtow to his perception of justice. How in God's name can I have our prosecutors go into court and ask for stiff sentences for violent criminals 
and then look the other way when there has been such a terrible miscarriage of justice. On Friday, black community leaders have scheduled a march on the Compton Courthouse where Judge Joyce Carlin's courtroom is located. Some are even considering picketing her home. They say something is terribly wrong when harm to this dog produced jail time and the death of Latasha Harlins did not. Brunel Chapman, Channel 4 News. 15-year-old Latasha Harlins was shot and killed by store owner Sue Jadu. Du claimed Harlins was stealing a bottle of orange juice when she confronted the teenager. The store security cameras captured the incident on videotape. As Harlins repeatedly hits Du, who takes a gun from under the counter. Dew claims she accidentally pulled the trigger, killing the teenager. Members of the black community charged the shooting was racially motivated. Dew was convicted, but served no prison time. Dew's store was later firebombed. I would like for you, the black community, to see once again, I mean, you can have a black person killed or with a video with eyewitnesses, and this is what you'll get. Killed inside a Korean on grocery store. And as Carrie Bergen reports, community leaders are using her death to send out a warning. Mourners came by to pay their respects to Latasha Harland, a 15-year-old girl gunned down in a Korean grocery store last weekend. The owner says she thought the girl was stealing a can of orange juice. Police say that does not appear to be the case. There have long been problems between blacks and Koreans in South Central, but Latasha's death has heightened tensions to explosive levels. This store will never reopen, not in this community. Today, black activists and friends and neighbors of the victim rally outside the store that has not been open since the shooting. No longer will we allow our young, beautiful black children to be killed. a playground that now bears her name. Her grandma tells us she loved coming here to play. Children still play here, and this tribute couldn't be more fitting. This is my commandment that you love one another, you know, and everything, and bring unity uh, for all peoples. Today, the grandmother and brother of Latasha Harlins clutched one another as the new playground sign at this South L.A. park was unveiled. They paused to remember her on the anniversary of one of L.A.'s darkest days. April 29th. As we know, it's a historic day in L.A., but it's also now a day of celebration. Harlan's death came amidst the growing racial unrest that led to the L.A. riots. Back in 1991, the 15-year-old lost her life in a liquor store over a bottle of orange juice. The clerk said she thought Harlan's put it in her backpack to steal. The two struggled, and as Latasha walked away, she shot and killed her. Investigators later said Latasha died with the dollars to buy it clutched in her hand. The tragedy happened just 13 days after the videotape beating of Rodney King. Her being a young 15-year-old, I feel like that whole story was really overshadowed by the Rodney King incident. Now local artist Victoria Casanova has painted a mural with her words. A documentary tells her story, and a scholarship has been created in Latasha's honor. Her family hopes others will look up and be inspired by the 15-year-old who said she wanted to help those who actually need it. Create more love. Just bring love back to the community, you know, uh, bring more value back. Why are we the victims? I mean, my friends are good Christians. I mean, we've been through so much and to go through this. I mean, we think 22 years down the drain. Many Koreans who yesterday were the shopkeepers of South Central Los Angeles today have lost the businesses they took years to create. What can I say? Uh, you know, I don't have any word to say. That's really a comeback, John. George Huang woke this morning to find his mini mall burnt to the ground. 
a loss of a million and a half dollars, and a lifetime of dreams and effort. I don't mind that. Whatever they need, take it out. But why they burn out the property? That's I don't. That's my question. Forty-one Korean businesses in South Central have been torched, dozens looted. In this overwhelmingly black and Hispanic area, Koreans own many of the small businesses. They're insular. They employ their own. They keep to themselves. Blacks say that's the problem. I'm not surprised that the Koreans got targeted because their prices are high, their attitude is wrong, and they just don't seem to have any respect for the black community. You know how it all started? The first thing when a girl got killed from the Oriental. Du is convicted of voluntary manslaughter, but is sentenced only to parole and a small fine. The black community is outraged and remembers. What, six months probation? Yes. I mean, the people were pissed then. Today, local Korean radio is broadcasting which stores in the area are threatened. Young men like Eddie Kim rush over to try to defend them. I don't care about the racism, I don't care anything. But it's not right, okay? It's not right to break inside and get any stuff. You know, it's not right. I don't think it's right. He Lee spent last night, and will spend tonight, guarding his appliance store. A small battalion of employees and relatives will try to help. I only have one shotgun. That's all I have. What do they have? They have hundreds of crazy people, hundreds of crazy young people with lots of guns. After the destruction, many Koreans have lost all faith that the authorities can protect them. Well, we hope police can protect, but as you see, this uh, you know, shortage of manpower, police. Koreans have fanned out across South Central, worried that tonight, with so little left to loot, more of their stores will burn. But even in the midst of the chaos, John Wee is rebuilding. We will continue to serve this community by doing the proper way of business. I don't think this is the, the, the will of the majority of this community. Grainy surveillance video shows a dispute over a bottle of orange juice at the Empire Liquor Store just before the woman behind the counter pulled out a weapon and shot the 15-year-old, killing her. Soon Jadu was found guilty of voluntary manslaughter, but sentenced to time served while awaiting for trial, a $500 fine and community service. She did not serve not one day in jail, but was sent home with probation only. This 15-year-old child who got her brains shot and blown out over a dispute over a bottle of orange juice was the precursor to the civil unrest in 92 after the jurors found the LAPD cops not guilty for beating Rodney King. Activist Naji Ali with the family at the dedication of the playground Harlan's used to play at. Where we grew up at and where we played at oftentimes. So today is a remarkable day. It's like she turned 45 this year. A love song for Latasha was nominated. A love song for Latasha was nominated for an Oscar. In the best documentary short subject category, Netflix also sponsored the mural, which is up the street from where she died. A market now sits in the spot of that liquor store, but it can't sell liquor as the zoning was changed to prohibit it in this spot after Harlan's death. We run into a man who went to school with her. I have, believe we have come a long way. You know, and you know, sometimes you still have, you know, the, the cop killings and stuff like that. He is following jury selection in the trial of Derek Chauvin, the officer facing murder in the death of George Floyd. Everyone here is. So I will be going to Minnesota supporting the activists and the leadership there. And hopefully they'll get justice for George Floyd being killed. Certainly, Latasha Hollins never got justice. But at least today, her family rejoices. Today, 30 years ago, at about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, the police knocks at our door and tell us. So it's just the community, I mean, the love that we receive from the community is unexplainable. Today, we just gonna just celebrate her legacy, her life.